am i audible just let me know whether the video and audio is clearly audible to you is audible just give me a ping so that i can understand that i am clearly audible and visible to you right so i'll share just check okay okay so thank you thank you so we are not going to we are now going to start the actual session right so i hope all of you are staying well and staying safe staying in home so take care of your health and just uh, attend the free live session okay so what we are going to do in this session we are going to discuss this resting membrane potential with the help of some mcqs okay so that mcqs may be repeat mcqs or ems entrance examination or some mcqs are new to give you concept on this topic because you know okay this is a very important topic not only for your uh, ems entrance examination but also for the neat examination okay now today in uh, at 9:30 pm i will take another session that session will be on smooth muscles again the mcq based discussion will be there on smooth muscle so i hope all of you know that myself dr somen manna i have done my md physiology from all india institute of medical science new delhi right so first mcqs that i am giving to you here okay so this is the first mcq equilibrium potential of an ion is calculated using which of the following equation this is very very simple question i know all of you can answer so what is your answer a b c or d question is equilibrium potential of an ion is calculated okay so please remember if the question is equilibrium potential okay some of you are answering a some of you are answering b but now uh, let understand equilibrium potential of an ion these are the to catch word always if it is equilibrium potential of an ion then your best answer is nernst equation okay but nernst equation cannot measure the equilibrium potential of multiple ion simultaneously okay and basically the equilibrium potential of multiple ion is nothing but your resting membrane potential so please remember rmp calculation is done by this equation okay i will make you understand ki what is the rmp and why the rmp cannot be calculated by nernst equation but for the time being remember equilibrium potential of an ion is calculated by nernst equation right now what is this equilibrium potential let's try to understand first okay so suppose i have a cell like this okay and on this cell there is a ion channel here so suppose this ion channel is potassium ion channel and the cell is in a resting condition so cell resting condition means in resting condition if any ion channel is open in resting condition then that kind of ion channel is known as leak ion channel leak means always there will be leaking of some ion although the cell is in resting condition or in any condition so we all know the potassium concentration is high inside the cell so what will happen through this leak channel potassium will go out of the cell because of the concentration gradient okay parallelly when the potassium is going more and more outside there will be positivity so this positivity what it will do it will try to push back the potassium inside the cell so this green color color arrow indicate this is nothing but the this is nothing but the electrical forces which is opposing the movement of potassium by concentration gradient now this kind of two movement will continue this kind of two movement will continue until and unless until and unless there is an equilibrium of this ion channel what do you mean by equilibrium equilibrium means if there is net movement of potassium ion through this channel is zero then that is known as the equilibrium condition at that equilibrium condition the net movement of potassium will be zero right 
in this equilibrium condition if i measure the inside voltage of this cell membrane in comparison to outside again i am repeating inside voltage of this cell membrane in comparison to outside then this voltage can be measured by putting some micro electrode inside the cell what i will do one micro electrode i will put inside and one micro electrode i'll put outside and in between these two micro electrode if you connect on very sensitive galvanometer then this galvanometer can detect this change of voltage inside the cell or it can detect the equilibrium potential so what is equilibrium potential so basically when the potassium movement through this channel is zero net movement is zero then the potential inside the cell is known as the equilibrium potential equilibrium potential is measured by putting one micro electrode inside one micro electrode outside but if i ask you suppose i don't have this kind of electrode and galvanometer so can i calculate this equilibrium potential then calculation mathematical calculation of this equilibrium potential is done by nernst equation so this is the thing nernst equation is for equilibrium potential equilibrium potential is also known as isoelectric potential equilibrium potential is also known as isoelectric potential now if the cell note down this is very important based on that another question has been given if the cell is permeable to only one type of ion like here i discuss only potassium channel is present on this cell if the cell is permeable to only one type of ion okay there is no other permeable ion in resting condition then equilibrium potential of this ion will be exactly equal to rmp that means i can say if the cell is permeable to only one type of ion then rmp of the cell can also be calculated by nernst equation then the rmp of the cell can also be calculated by nernst equation because here the equilibrium potential is equal to rmp but this is not the scenario for all of our mammalian cell this is typically seen in case of glial cell only in our body that the cell is permeable to only one type of ion but what happens in most of the vertebral cell most of the vertebrate cell in our body okay what is there the resting condition cell is permeable to potassium ion as well as chloride ion as well as sodium ion so obviously i cannot measure the equilibrium potential or rmp of this cell with the help of nernst equation but what equation i have to take help i have to take help of equation which is known as goldman hodgkin catch equation okay so the full name of this equation is the goldman hodgkin catch equation that's why i told you here that this goldman equation is typically used for rmp calculation right so goldman equation is typically used for rmp calculation but the nernst equation this is typically used for equilibrium potential now this donan and gibbs donan this is nothing but if through a semi permeable membrane suppose you have two compartment compartment a and compartment b if i give sodium ion on both side of this compartment there will be equilibrium between these two compartment now suppose i have given chloride ion in this compartment compartment b so what the chloride will try to do because this membrane is permeable the chloride will try to move from b to a side but if i give if i add protein in this compartment a we know protein contain negative charge so what will happen this negatively charged protein will try to causes repulsion of chlorine in the opposite side it will try to drag sodium ion in this side okay so basically this protein cannot move through the permeable membrane so it's a kind of im permeable ion this is a kind of impermeable ion and the sodium ion chloride ion is they are the permeable ion but because this impermeable ion is present on one side of this membrane 
the distribution of this permeable ion will be different it will not be equal equal on both sides generally if you give chloride here chloride will try to equalize on both sides okay there should be a equilibrium of chloride on both sides but the concentration of the chloride will not be equal because of the presence of this impermeable or impermeant ion this was first time described by donan and later on supplemented by Gibbs that's why this is known as Gibbs Donan equation or Gibbs Donan equilibrium so it is defined like that because of the presence of impermeable ion on one half of the compartment the distribution of permeable ion is not equal that is known as the Donan effect or Gibbs Donan equilibrium am I clear so this you have to be remember here okay so clear now this is clear equilibrium potential so very very simple question i hope this is clear okay right so now i am going to the next question now i hope you will be able to answer this question try to answer this question this is very very easy okay this is very very easy try to answer this question resting membrane potential is close to isoelectric potential of okay close to so you have to note down here the word close to right i'll give you reference also okay so resting membrane potential is close to isoelectric potential okay answer is coming a a a answer is coming c okay so please remember isoelectric potential rmp and isoelectric potential rmp is not close to sodium always remember resting membrane potential is close to isoelectric potential of potassium now the correct answer is coming it is close to isoelectric potential of potassium why so just now we have discussed just now we have discussed in the previous mcq that on a mammalian vertebrate cell resting condition resting condition how many ions are permeable number one potassium is permeable number two sodium is permeable number three chloride is also permeable no doubt so we are discussing the rmp resting membrane potential in resting membrane potential most of the mammalian cell contain all these three types of ion channel and this ion channel because they are open in resting condition white tight what i told what they are known as they are known as the leaky ion channel now when all three type of ion channels are open rmp will be determined by or rmp will be contributed by all these three types of ion channel but the question is rmp is maximally contributed by which ion channel okay rmp is maximally contributed by which ion channel then i will ask you among these three channels which ion channel permeability is maximum or which ion channel number is maximum then it will be like this that potassium is maximum than chloride than sodium and if you take a permeability ratio then permeability of potassium ion is one if it is one then chloride will be four five and sodium will be 0 0.04 that means if we simplify this if there are 100 potassium channel present on a cell then 45 potassium channel will be present on that same cell and only four ion channel will be present of sodium on this cell okay so 100 potassium 45 chloride channel and four of sodium channel open so i can easily understand that rmp is mainly contributed by which ion potassium ion or potassium channel because of that although the rmp is contributed by all these three ion but it will be it will be close to close to potassium ion channel it will be close to close to potassium ion channel please remember okay potassium ion channel equilibrium potential or isoelectric potential right so basically sodium will try to drag the rmp towards its electrical potential okay chloride will try to drag the rmp towards its equilibrium potential but it is mainly close to potassium because potassium ion permeability maximum in resting condition now if you look at the next mcq this is similar to the above question but this is answer is not similar or maybe similar try to answer this question so this question is looking similar resting membrane potential of nerve so the tissue is given 
equal to the word is equal to what was the word used in the previous question look here uh, look here the previous question was close to now i am asking two things rmp resting membrane potential of nerve so i have specified the tissue and then i am asking equal to equal to then you have to remember yes here the answer is d very good so correct answer is coming here the answer is chloride now why so for answering this question i have to remember certain thing first of all i am writing some number here rmp rmp of neuron how much minus 70 millivolt okay rmp of skeletal muscle you have to just remember this information on your fingertip rmp of skeletal muscle minus 90 millivolt rmp of myocardium this is minus 90 millivolt rmp of Purkinje cell rmp of Purkinje cell minus 80 millivolt okay rmp of smooth muscle this is minus 55 to minus 40 millivolt then rmp of s a node minus 50 rmp of a b node minus 60 as much as information you can try to remember but at least these are the essential information to remember now on the other hand if i write down the equilibrium potential of sodium ion this is plus 63 equilibrium potential of potassium ion minus 90 millivolt equilibrium potential of chloride minus 70 equilibrium potential of calcium plus 132 millivolt now here your question is equal to and they are asking about neuron so easily you can understand neuron rmp is minus 70 millivolt this is exactly equal to equilibrium potential of which ion chloride ion that's why my answer here is chloride ion okay but in the previous question here the question was not equal to here the question was close to close to means they are asking you the concept that which ion is maximum permeable on cell membrane and here my answer was potassium right so this is the difference between two question now if you are happy then i will say please follow the standard textbook what they are saying this is the conceptual now this information i must have to remember rmp of almost all vertebrate cell close to equilibrium potential of potassium because potassium is maximum permeable barber again and again i am repeating please remember this then rmp of neuron is equal to equilibrium potential of chloride okay and resting cell membrane is maximum permeable to potassium so potassium greater than chloride greater than sodium okay so this is different books reference has been given if you follow genong genong also writing in neuron the resting membrane potential is usually about minus 70 millivolt which is close to note down the word close to equilibrium potential of potassium so please remember okay so what is the difference between rmp and equilibrium potential okay so basically if the cell membrane is permeable to okay this we have we have discussed already if the cell membrane is permeable to only one type of ion then the equilibrium potential of this ion equilibrium potential of this ion is equal to rmp so there is no difference between rmp and equilibrium potential if the cell membrane is permeable to only one type of ion remember only one type of ion but i told you this kind of cell is not present in our body except glial cell but what is the common scenario in our cell our body tissue the cell membrane is permeable to all three types of ion not only potassium not only chloride not only sodium in this cases rmp is not rmp is not equal to equilibrium potential of any single ion but rmp is close to equilibrium potential of potassium because that is the maximum permeable ion right okay so this is the different thing okay now coming to the next question so this is a little bit more difficult question okay little bit more difficult question 
the intracellular and extracellular potassium concentration across the plasma membrane of the cell is 140 and 14 very good so you have understand dr nidhi so thank you very much so here now look at the next question the intracellular so icf potassium is given 140 ecf potassium is given 14 right you have to calculate the rmp of this cell now look at the exact same thing which we were discussing exact the same thing this model cell is permeable to only potassium ion okay so whenever the cell is only permeable to potassium ion i just told that you have to just calculate the equilibrium potential of potassium and it will be exactly same to same with the rmp that is the thing so how this equilibrium potential is calculated that we also we have discussed that is by nerds equation now please please remember the formula of nerds equation very clearly because aims entrance and neat pg is going to ask you this question so nerds equation is saying equilibrium potential of any ion is equal to this is the original thing rtzf log of concentration of the ion outside concentration of the ion inside this is the short form now note down here this uh, this log is the natural logarithm so if i convert this natural logarithm to log base 10 then 2.3 multiplied by rt z a log of concentration of the ion upon concentration of the ion inside log base 10 2.3 multiply okay just from natural logarithm to uh, log base 10 then what is the next thing next thing is that this r this t and this f okay faraday constant all of these three are constant the value of this constant is 26.7 so basically 2.3 multiplied by 26.7 upon your z z is the valency of the ion log base 10 with concentration of the ion outside concentration of the ion inside so if you multiply this this will be equal to plus 61 upon z followed by this thing log of concentration of the ion outside concentration of the ion inside so please remember this portion so this is the equilibrium potential equation nuts equation plus 61 upon z log base 10 concentration of the ion outside concentration of the ion inside now coming to this situation the question here is given that so i will write down like this equilibrium potential of potassium here will be plus 61 valency valency of the potassium is how much plus one obviously so here log base 10 outside concentration is 14 inside concentration is 140 so this 14 upon 140 is 1 upon 10 log base 10 1 upon 10 is minus 1 that's why the final answer will be minus 1 in this cases and all of you who has given answer you are correct that here the question will be minus 61 but please please be cautious if this concentration is changed like ecf concentration is 140 and icf concentration is 14 then this sign will change rather than negative it will be positive okay that you have to remember so please step by step follow this equation this is important to remember okay now another mcq similar to this similar to this this is more difficult question in the above cell so what is the condition so the question that we have done here the similar question i am asking in this next mcq read the question so in the same cell where the ecf potassium was 14 and icf potassium was 140 now they are saying saying that in this cell if you decrease the outside potassium to 1.4 what will happen so basically outside potassium ecf potassium decreases so this is a kind of scenario which is nothing but hypokalemia if you want to correlate this clinically this is nothing but a kind of hypokalemic situation for the cell so what will happen if there is hypokalemia what will happen the cell will be hyperpolarized but here look at the option they have given how many millivolt hyperpolarization will occur so the cell will be hyperpolarized so either my answer can be this or this or this but they are asking how much so 
originally we had calculated the rmp of this scenario what was the rmp rmp we have calculated already that is minus 61 millivolt we have just calculated this with the help of the above okay nuts equation now i have applied the nuts equation again okay nuts equation again how to apply now i have applied the nuts equation again provided that inside concentration is 140 and outside concentration is 1.4 that means there will be a new equilibrium in that new equilibrium what will happen to the rmp of the cell i have to calculate this again so calculate simple so i will apply the nuts equation again so equilibrium potential of potassium ion in this condition will be plus 61 upon plus 1 log of concentration 1.4 upon 140 right so this will be how much this will be how much 1.4 upon 140 that will be that will be 1 upon 100 1 upon 100 means log 10 with 1 upon 100 the value of that will be minus 2 the value of that will be minus 2 1 upon 100 1 upon 100 means i can say 1 upon 10 to the power 2 okay so that's why the value of that will be minus 2 so whenever the value is minus 2 it will be minus 2 multiplied by 61 so it will be minus 1 to 2 millivolts so this is the new rmp of the cell when you produce a hypokalemic situation on this cell so this is the new rmp so obviously you can easily understand the rmp has decreased more negative more negative means what is that condition that condition is hyper polarization so this is hyper polarization of this cell rmp has become more negative now the question is how much more negative how much more negative okay so originally it was minus 61 now it has reduced to minus 122 that means the hyper polarization is 61 millivolt hyper polarization getting my point so rmp has moved from minus 61 to minus 122 that means hyperpolarization has occurred how much hyperpolarization 61 millivolt hyperpolarization getting my point so this is small session okay this is small session this is all for today uh, there is no time for discussion much but i will ask you please try to attend the smooth muscle session at 9 30 pm also and in future i am taking more and more free classes nowadays with an, an academy so please try to attend so there is an ongoing course going on for uh, my course going on in an academy platform that is the numb muscle physiology and cvs physiology right so you can join this core course so um, someone is asking why not b okay so uh, just uh, give me so why not b 122 millivolt hyperpolarization no hyperpolarization means from rmp how much negativity the cell has moved how much negativity the cell has moved original rmp was minus 61 millivolt it has now moved to 122 millivolt so how much 61 millivolt movement has been occurred okay so always hyperpolarization is compared with the rmp okay rmp is minus 122 millivolt but that is not the hyperpolarization hyperpolarization means how much millivolt it has moved from rmp right so please remember okay so i hope you have learned something from this session so uh, you can just keep my reference code if you want to join okay my reference code is this one dr d r s o u m e n so men 10 so you can use this code for joining my, my, my session so next week we are going to discuss the cardiovascular system and next to next month uh, we are going to discuss the other part of the physiology targeting the aims entrance examination right so this is all thank you thank you very much thank you all <laughs>